Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 33 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. Hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Alright, damn. That actually didn't take too long. 76 fishing, I can already fish sharks. But there is something else that is better than sharks that I could probably get in the foreseeable future. And that is the anglerfish. So anglerfish is fish that heals 22 hit points and you can go above your hit points. So it's kind of like a brew without the negative side effects. So it's really nice to get. However, it is 82 fishing. But sharks is definitely good enough to start off with Zora. So once I do get 82 though, I will definitely upgrade to anglerfish because that's going to be even better. Hey, just got 79 defense. Just need 187k and I'll be uh, 80 defense, man. Can get that easily tomorrow and then, yep, I'll have another level 80 skill. Pretty good, pretty good. There we go. Just finished my first ever Absol Demon task. Completed it with all Ice Burst and just with my first time alone, I got freaking almost 37k slur experience an hour, okay? Obviously not as good as Night Royales or Dust Devils. I can't get XP like this really anywhere else. Yeah, right now it's nighttime on the weekday, so I was able to find a world of burst. Well, I have done a lot of AFK skilling today, just fishing, but there's a good reason why. I was pretty overloaded with homework, so. Anyways, look at the monkfish stack though 1.9k almost. So that's around like, what, 300k cooking experience? Pretty soon I'll have enough monkfish to cook to uh, 80 cooking. And that means with 80, I can uh, start cooking monkfish in 84, that'd be anglerfish. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do a bit more monkfish enough to get to the 80 cooking and then I will uh, go to AFK sharks. So I'll move over to sharks when I have enough monkfish to get myself to uh, 80 cooking. And I'm almost there. Right, let's open it up. Oh my god. Can this be? Holy shit, this says 3. The book is done. <gasps> oh! Oh man, that's so awesome. Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow, I did not expect to get it so soon. Remember last episode? I got the uh, ancient page something. And with that, that meant I only needed to get one more ancient page. If I remember, I saw the bank, I was missing ancient page three. So hopefully I was right, okay? Oh my god, yes! I can't believe it, dude. That's crazy. Only a few days apart and it actually happened. Okay, I actually don't have this book, do I? Let me see. Okay, I'm looking it up. Oh, what? I didn't buy it. So, just another reminder. You're no longer forced to only have one book. You can get as many books as you want now. You don't need to fill it up. So, yeah, let me go ahead and unlock the ancient book. And uh, just fill the pages. One, two, three. Four, right there. Book of Darkness completed. Arguably one of the better god books in this game. Because you know why? Look at this. 10 magic bonus, guys. Oh my god, that's amazing. So I didn't have a shield that gave, you know, anything remotely close in terms of magic bonus. So this will be really good for Zora, really good for what I'm bursting. And normally I use a prayer book anyway, so not only do I still keep my bird bonus, I get that additional 10 magic accuracy. So that's so nice. First god book completed, man, and one of the best books. I am so glad that I got this. Alright, and that is Jad number 7 completed. Whoa, new personal best? 69 minutes, dude. Pretty good. Pretty good, man. 69.26. Okay. Here goes nothing, man. Here we go. Yeah, you're not lucky. Okay. I mean, especially the PVM stuff. I'm not dropping any of that. Oh my god, really? Siri? Holy shit. Holy hell, man. Wow, I just got my second Abyssal Whip. And I can tell you, I haven't hit 400 KC yet, but I'll be close after I finish this. But Damn, okay. I guess if I ever do get a tentacle, you know, I will have a spare, so that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, nice. Mystic top. Oh, and followed by 80 defense, man. Beautiful combo right there. 
Well, guys, that defense uh, mini goal is done, but I'm still 85 Slayer, okay? So, I think I can get to 85 by the time I get to 87 Slayer. First medium clue of the day, guys. Oh, right there. Nice, unique item, man. Although, it was kind of harder to spot, you know? But, hey, nice. Element, full helm trim, I'll dig. So it has been a while since I've trained my prayer and uh, ever since the last time I trained my prayer I've obviously been doing so much slayer so that means I have stocked up yet again on a shit ton of insole heads yeah baby this is gonna be some good amount of XP I'm guessing anywhere from 150k to like 200k per experience so yeah I'm gonna use them all up and see what prayer level I can get up to the higher the prayer level the better Nice, just got my first prayer level. I was very close to 64. Oh, snap, what? 104 combat, beautiful. So from all those insole heads I had, I think I'll get to somewhere around like 67 or 68 prayers. So let's just see uh, if I can get that. Yo, that's fresh as hell. These uh, reanimated diagonals, they count for my slayer task. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Like, I was like, wait, why is this thing counting down? And I was like, oh, wait, these count as my task? Yo, that's awesome though. Hey, killing two birds with one stone, man. I'm pretty impressed that at the immersion that uh, Jagex has displayed. Especially with this update, that's cool, man. Awesome, guys. Just hit 67 Slayer, and I am pretty damn sure I have enough insole heads to get to probably 68 and a half. Getting super close to that 70 prayer. So the remaining insole heads I got left is about like 80-something Blood Veil heads. Now that I realize that all these like insole heads also count for their respective slayer tasks, so I will save the 80 bloodfell heads until I get a bloodfell task. They're super common tasks, so it'll be pretty easy to uh, get that done soon. Only reason is because that way the next time I do a bloodfell task, it will feel a lot you know quicker and uh, more fun. Okay, can I get a back-to-back -back unique? Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Let's just see. Oh yes, the RNG gods have answered yet again. Okay, Bandos page 1, not bad, I mean, you know, unique item for sure, I, I guarantee that. See you later with 86 Slayer. Wow, cool. Bashy rhymed, not bad, but I'm not a rapper. Thank you very much. That's uh, my second time getting a Slayer level off of a Jataz, man. What a coincidence, 374k to the final level, the final destination. God damn, that's gonna take me like a... I don't know man, a good at least four to five days I'm feeling. But to celebrate, can I get a pet though? Nah, probably not. Let me get the pet please. Thank you very much. The end of the clue. Let's get out of here. First hard clue of the day. Uh let's see if we get anything good. Ooh, wait, no. Yeah, actually, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, definitely have a stole already, but uh, this is a unique item, so... Oh, that's interesting right there. Oh my lord, I gotta kill me one of these. The uh, Greater Abyssal Demon. Now, luckily for me, I'm always protect for melee, so... He can't do anything with his special attack, so... But yeah, that's, that's interesting, man. I'm gonna burst this guy. Come here, you. Holy shit, he's doing his teleport attack. That was wicked, dude. Yes, Greater Absol Demon dead. Oh wow, dang. Got myself a uh, Absol Demon head. Okay, not bad. 4K experience. Though. That was pretty good XP, I I'll say. So guys, I'm going back to skilling. That was quite a productive like uh, five hours of Slayer, man. Got all the way down to under 300k, 87. So that's cool. So anyways, I think I have enough Monkfish now. This is around 620k cooking experience. I'm gonna be burning like uh, less than 10% of that. So I think that's just gonna be enough for 80 cooking. So it's around uh, 600k-ish from where I am at right now to 80. So yeah, let's go to Hosidius range and uh, cook up some nice mudfish. So guys, you probably might have seen me cook on this place before. And let me just tell you, this place is the best place to cook pretty much anything okay so uh believe it or not this place El Sidious, right actually has an invisible like plus five cooking boost and it stacks with your cooking gauntlets so at 82 cooking i will stop burning monkfish altogether normally it's at 90 with the cooking gauntlets 
but yeah because of this thing that stacks yeah it's crazy man i get to uh 100 cook these super early which is great saves me a lot of resources you know from having to waste from uh burning the monkfish but anyways this works for you know any cooking that you can do on a range and to get access to this range you have to get 100 whole city's favor i know it's a little bit daunting but honestly getting 100 whole city's isn't too bad no more all you have to do is plow the field of 5% and the next part is to uh, get the compost and saltpeter which isn't bad no more. If you're a normal count, you just buy these items in the GE. It saves a lot of time. Or if you're an Ironman, it's not too bad either. You can buy hundreds of compost in the gardening stores in no time. Saltpeter only takes probably less than an hour to mine. And then once you are at 45%, you can use the mess hall which gets you all the way to 100% super fast. In probably just an hour so altogether you can get 100% whole city's favor in probably just three to four hours so it's not too bad there we go just got 77 cooking so three more cooking loaves to go four sharks and as you can see my burn rate currently at 76 cooking among fish here is only six percent so I'm guessing it's gonna be around four to five percent now which is crazy good I also did manage to hit 77 fishing, getting the 3k raw monkfish, so that was uh, pretty good as well. Kind of close to getting the 1600 total level. Well guys, on this episode, I am one level away from 87 Slayer. The Slayer level of destiny, essentially, or inevitable death, who knows. But anyways, I'm going to be wrapping up here today, guys. I assure you next episode is gonna be a really good uh, wrapping point hopefully should have a lot of amazing goals done in preparation for the upcoming boss but thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you are new to the series want to stay up to date feel free to subscribe that way you'll be notified exactly when the next video comes out also enjoy the video which i hope you did Feel free to give the video a like as well, and I hope to see you guys soon within a few days, man. Take care.